गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे दिस इज नुजरात सना आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे विल बी स्टार्टिंग फ्रेश मंथ एंड इन दिस सेशन विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट करेंट अफेयर्स फॉर फर्स्ट ऑफ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर हियर ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट की वर्ड्स डैट वी वुड बी कवरिंग इन टूडेज सेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल विल टॉक अबाउट डोंग फैंग टू सिक्स मिसाइल After that, we'll talk about uh, Digital Infrastructure Growth Initiative, Rule of Law Index, Harry Mizzle Award, and Rajasthan Government Fine. So it would be the crux of our session. And now, without wasting any further time, let's get started with the first question. Which country developed the Tong Feng Two Six missile? The correct answer is A option, China. Actually, China's stockpile of this D Five Two Six, DF Two Six intermediate range ballistic missiles has grown. With nearly 60 new launchers observed at the major production site, so this Dong Feng 26 is an advanced Chinese uh, missile that is designed for both land and maritime strikes, and it measures 14 meters in length, 1.4 meters in diameter, and it weighs nearly 20,000 kgs at launch. So it is powered by two state solid propellant. and it can hit the targets uh, up to 3000 to 4000 kilometers away the missile's modular design allows it to carry two nuclear and multiple conventional warheads its anti ship version uh, df26b targets the naval vessels including the aircraft carriers fine so dong feng 26 missile is developed by the country china fine The questions you can be asked are: What is the maximum range in kilometers of the DF-26 missile version that is designed for maritime strike? So answer is 4,000 kilometers. And what is the reported length of this missile in meters? It is the 40 meters, right? Now, if we talk about the intermediate range ballistic missiles, what is the typical range classification for an intermediate range ballistic missile? It is 1,000 to 5,500 kilometers, fine. In the next slide, we will be talking about some important defense-related news. The first one is, what is the name of the Iranian fishing vessel which was recently rescued by Indian Navy from the pirates? This is Al Kambar. Agni four missile is developed by which organization? This missile has been developed by DRDO. What is the main focus of Joint Doctrine for Cyberspace Operations recently released by CDS? Main focus of these operation is military as aspects of cyberspace operation. Where was a new defense system precision approach radar inaugurated it was recently inaugurated in Andaman and Nicobar island virtual sentinel system is related to which one of the following it is related to anti drone system ins ranveer belongs to which type of class it belongs to rajput class recently which armed force has launched vidyut rakshak which is an integrated generator monitoring protection and control system so vidyut rakshak has been launched by indian army okay Next question is the prime minister of india recently gifted which traditional painting to russian president during the brics summit so india's prime minister narendra modi has gifted a sohrai painting to the president of russia at the recent brics summit that took place in kazan and if we talk about sohrai it is a kind of an indigenous mural art form that dates back to meso chalcolithic period that means from 9000 to 5000 bc It is practiced mainly by the tribal women using the natural materials like charcoal, clay, and soil. And the art depicts natural themes like forest, rivers, and animals with vibrant colors and symbolic motifs. It is popular among the tribes in Jharkhand, Bihar, Odisha, and West Bengal. And the, if we talk about the Hazari Bag region that lies in Jharkhand, uh, it has a GI tag for Sohrai art. Okay. So Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi has gifted this traditional Sohrai painting to the Russian president during the BRICS summit okay you can be asked that which state in India is primarily associated with the origin of Sohrai painting this is Jharkhand state in Sohrai art what natural materials are traditionally used for painting these are charcoal clay and soil and what period is Sohrai art said to date back to means it is assumed to be uh, belonging to meso chalcolithic period fine In the next slide, we'll be talking about important summits and conferences. Where was the 16th Conference of Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity started? It is started in Cali, in Colombia. Mobile World Congress 2024 is recently hosted by which country? It is hosted by the country Spain. 
Recently, where was the Global Aerospace Summit 2024 held? Answer is Abu Dhabi. Recently, where was the first India Gulf Cooperation Council Foreign Ministers Meeting held? It took place in Riyadh in Saudi Arabia. Global Summit on Extreme Heat recently hosted by which two organizations? This summit was hosted by USAID and Red Cross. Recently, where was the 10th edition of Commonwealth Parliamentary Association India Region Conference held? So, this uh, conference took place in New Delhi. Recently, where was the 4th edition of Shanghai Corporation Organization Startup Forum organized? It was organized in New Delhi. Okay. Question number 3 is, which countries recently signed the Digital Infrastructure Growth Initiative for India Framework, DG Framework? So, these countries are US, Japan and South Korea. B option is the right answer. They have recently signed the DG Framework so as to support the digital infrastructure growth in India. And partner agencies include, for example, US International Development Finance Corporation, JBIC means Japan Bank for International Cooperation, and the Korea Exim Bank. So, this initiative aims to collaborate with Indian private companies in different sectors like 5G, Open RAN, submarine cables, optical fiber networks, data centers, smart cities, e commerce, artificial intelligence, and quantum tech. So, India's digital public infrastructure including Aadhaar, UPI and data sharing system enabled 80% of financial inclusion and it supported 87% of poor house households during the COVID-19. So, DPI can boost the economic growth by 33% and it can accelerate the emission reductions by up to 10 years. Fine. So, three countries, US, Japan and South Korea have recently signed the Digi Infrastructure Growth Initiative for India Framework, that means Digi Framework, okay. Now, in the next slide, we'll be talking about some important international current affairs, means we will see some important countries that came into news. Which country has recently joined the European Sky Sh uh, Shield Initiative? This country is Switzerland. Indus Water Treaty is a water sharing agreement in between India and which other country? It is a water sharing agreement between India and Pakistan. Recently, which country has confirmed the discovery of its first deposits of coltan, which is a valuable mineral? This is the country Kenya. Which Indian organization has initiated the first ever mid-carrier training program for BIMSTEC civil servant? This is the National Center for Good Governance. Which of the following countries are a member of the Five Eyes Alliance? So, Five Eyes Alliance has five countries, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, UK and US. Recently, India signed a memorandum of understanding with which country on law and dispute resolution? India signed this MOU with Singapore. Recently, Jeremiah Manile has been appointed as the new Prime Minister of which country? This is the country, Solomon Islands. Okay. Question number four is, what is the rank of India in the Rule of Law Index 2024, which is released by the World Justice Project? So, India is placed at 79th position out of 142 in the Rule of Law Index, which is given by the World Justice Project. Top ranked countries are Denmark, Norway, Finland, Sweden and Germany. The index evaluates eight indicators, which are these government constraints, corruption absence, open government fundamental rights, security, regulatory enforcement, civil justice and criminal justice. India performs moderately in the government constraints and open government, which reflects its focus on governance. And uh, India scores very poor in fundamental rights, security and criminal justice. It highlights the issues with policing, rights protection and delayed justice system. Okay. So, what is the rank of India in the rule of law index? Answer is 79 and it is released by World Justice Project, which are the top five countries under this index. These are uh, Denmark, Norway, Finland, Sweden and Germany. Okay. In the next slide, we will be talking about some important reports and indices. The first question is, according to World Cybercrime Index 2024, what is the rank of India in cybercrime globally? Globally, we are placed at 10th position. Which organization recently released the report titled as Aid for Trade in Action, Supporting the Transition to Clean Energy? This is WTO, World Trade Organization. Which ministry recently released a report titled as Empirical Study to Evaluate the Delivery of Justice Through Improved Infrastructure? This report is given by Ministry of Law and Justice. Which institution recently published a report titled as Strategy for the Development of Sea Wheat Value Chain? It is given by Niti Aayog. Profits and Poverty, the Economics of Forced Labor report is released by which organization? 
This report is given by ILO International Labour Organization headquarter lies in Geneva Switzerland Global Unicorn Index 2024 is recently released by which organization it is given by Huron Research Institute and last is which organization recently released the report titled as State and Trends of Carbon Pricing 2024 this report is given by World Bank okay Question number 5 is which Indian conservation scientist was conferred the Harry Mizell award at the 5th IUCN SSC leaders meeting in Abu Dhabi The correct answer is the option Bhibhav Kumar Talukdar he is from Assam and recently he received the prestigious Harry Mizell award that is given by IUCN SSC means Species Survival Commission okay so this award was presented at the 5th edition of IUCN SSC leaders meeting that took place in Abu Dhabi with over 300 uh, conservation experts attending he was recognized for his on ground and leadership contributions to species conservation he joined IUCN SSC in 1991 and he has chaired the asian rhino specialist group since 2008 he also it is he is the founder of aranyak which is a key conservation organization in northeastern india he has published more than 70 scientific papers and led more than 60 projects in over 25 years okay so bibab kumar talukdar was conferred the harry mizell award at the 5th iucn species survival commission leaders meeting that took place in abu dhabi okay d option is the right answer Talking about IUCN Species Survival Commission when was this commission founded it was founded in 1949 and which publication is frequently updated by them to inform on the global conservation status of species this is the very famous IUCN red list and the headquarters of IUCN uh, lies in gland in the country switzerland in the next slide let's talk about important environment and biodiversity related current affairs Recently the Asiatic golden cat has been spotted in which national park of Assam it has been spotted in Manas national park okay Kazu Valley watershed region is located in which indian state it lies in tamil nadu water kikadas recently seen in the news it is a sound producing insect what is nankai trough recently seen in the news it is a subduction zone between two tectonic plates in the pacific ocean Amu a flightless bird recently seen in the news is native to which country it is native to Australia which day is observed as international plastic bag free day so we celebrate 3rd of July as international plastic bag free day the next is konkuwati dauli national park is located in which country this national park lies in congo fine question number 6 is recently india's first private military aircraft factory was inaugurated in which indian state the correct answer is c option gujarat prime minister narendra modi and prime minister of spain pedro sanchez has recently inaugurated the tata aircraft complex in vadodara in the state of gujarat it is india's first private military aircraft production facility and the complex will manufacture c295 aircraft which would enhance india spain relations and it would support make in india make for the world initiative so the airbus C295 that was originally designed by Spanish company Casa is a medium tactical transport aircraft which is also suited for medical evacuation disaster response and maritime patrol okay so india's first private military aircraft factory was inaugurated in the state of gujarat fine in the next slide let's talk about some national current affairs the first question is which non governmental organization has recently launched a nation wide campaign named as puri padhai desh ki bhalai So this is the campaign of child rights and you Vadhavan port is to be constructed in which indian state it is said to be constructed in maharashtra which ministry recently launched a portal noble initiative for rewarding rewarding means aspirants of national civil services examination also known as nirman so it is launched by ministry of coal and mines which ministry recently launched the national apprenticeship and training scheme 2.0 portal it is launched by ministry of education What is the name of the initiative recently launched by Karnataka government to provide free healthcare services to the citizen this is griha arogya recently which indian state has made it mandatory for the tourist vehicles to carry the garbage back this is the state sikkim nilgiri mountain railway is situated in which indian state this mountain railway lies in tamil nadu okay question number 7 is Which city was awarded the title of city with the best public transport system at Urban Mobility India Conference and Exhibition 2024? This is the city of Bhubaneswar. 
The 17th Urban Mobility India Conference and Exhibition 2024 recently concluded in Gandhinagar in the state of Gujarat with a session led by Union Minister Manohar Lal. And this three-day event focused on sustainable urban mobility solutions and brought together key stakeholders and experts. Bhubaneswar was awarded city with the best public transport system at the conference and the award was presented to Orisha's Housing and Urban Development Minister Dr. Krishna Chandra Mahapatra by Union Minister Manohar Lal. Okay? So Bhubaneswar city was awarded the title of city with the best public transport system at Urban Mobility India Conference and Exhibition that took place in Gandhinagar in the state of Gujarat. Fine. Talking about Gandhinagar, which famous temple lies in Gandhinagar and it is dedicated to Lord Swami Narayan. It is the Akshardham temple. What is the name of the wildlife sanctuary near Gandhinagar, which is known for black bucks? It is the Black Buck National Park. And which river flows uh, by the city of Gandhinagar serving as a water source? It is the Savarmati River, right? In the next slide, let's talk about important questions regarding awards and honors. Recently, who has been named as the regional winner for the Middle East and North Africa in the 2024 Cambridge Dedicated Teacher Awards? This is Gina Justice. Recently, the winners of 70th National Film Awards were announced by which ministry? Answer is Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Recently, the Indian Council of Medical Research received the 2024 at the rate United Nations Interagency Task Force Award for its contribution in which field? This is Non-Communicable Diseases. Recently, who has been conferred the Nritti Kalanithi Award 2024? This award has been presented to Nina Prasad, who became the first woman officer to serve as the DG of Armed Forces Medical Services. This is Aarti Sarin. Recently, who received the Kalaya Krishnamurthy National Award for research work on gummy stem blight in bottle gout? This is Dhananjay MV. Recently, which musician has been honored with the Lakshmi Narayan International Award? This is Pyarelal Sharma. Question number eight is. What is the name of the scheme recently launched by the Rajasthan government to promote the private investment? This is A option, Rajasthan Investment Promotion Scheme 2024. Rajasthan government has launched this scheme to attract the private investment with expanded financial incentive and RIPS 2024 improves upon RIPS 2022 by covering more sectors and offering increased financial benefit. So it includes new sunrise sectors like aero and space, defense, drones, semiconductors, agri-tech and waste recycling. The first three mega projects in these sectors receive a 25% additional sunrise booster and a 10% of extra incentive over the asset creation. Okay, So Rajasthan Investment Promotion Scheme 2024 has been launched by the Rajasthan government to promote the private investment. In the next slide, let's talk about some important government schemes that were in news. The first question is, what is the primary objective of Pradhan Mantri Kisan Manthan Yojana recently completed five years of implementation? Basic objective of this scheme is to provide social security to small and marginal farmers in their old age. Which state government recently launched the Mukhya Mantri Mayan Samman Yojana? So answer is Jharkhand. Which state government recently launched the Darshini program to offer immersive educational tours to the student? This is Telangana. Which ministry has implemented the PM Yashasvi scheme? So it is implemented by Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. What is the name of National Responsible Tourism Initiatives recently launched by Ministry of Tourism? This is Paritan Mitra and Paritan Didi. Which state government recently launched the Swayam scheme to empower its youth with interest-free loan? This is Odisha state. Mukhi Mantri Bal Ashirwad Yojana was launched by which Indian state? It is launched by Madhya Pradesh. Question number 9 is, according to the recent reports, which one of the following countries emerged as the top 3 destinations for the defense exports by India? So these three countries are US, France and Armenia. They are India's top 3 customers for military export. India now exports military equipment to over 100 countries globally. And the Defense Ministry is actively promoting the exports and local manufacturing to boost the domestic production for national and international needs. So exports to the US include, for example, aircraft and helicopter parts for companies like Lockheed Martin and Boeing. France receives the Indian software and electronic equi equipment, while Armenia country imports the artillery guns, pinaka rocket launchers, swati radars and other systems from India. Okay. So as per the recent reports, US, France and Armenia emerged as the top three destinations for the defense exports by India. Okay. 
In the next slide, we'll be talking about some important reports and indices. The first one is Global Hepatitis Report 2024 is recently released by which organization? So this report is given by World Health Organization. Which organization recently released the Migration and Development Brief Report? This report is given by World Bank. Recently, which organization released a report ensuring safety and health at work in a changing climate? This report is given by ILO, International Labour Organization, headquarters lies in Geneva. Global Gas Flaring Tracker Report 2024 is recently released by which organization? It is given by World Bank. What is the rank of India in the Asia Power Index Report 2024, which is recently published by the Lovi Institute? In this report, India is placed at third position. Grow Report and Portal is launched by which one of the following? This report is given by Niti Ayo. Which organization recently published the report named as State of the Rhino 2024 report? This report is published by International Rhino Foundation. Okay. Now the last question is, which Indian players won the women's doubles title at the World Table Tennis Feeder Cagliari 2024 tournament? These two players are Kritvika Roy and Yashaswani Gorpade. Indian duo of this won the women's doubles title at the World Table Tennis Feeder Cagliari 2024 that took place in the country Italy. So they has defeated the South Korea's uh, duo in the finals and uh, the Indian pair beat the pair of Italy in the first round and uh, Japan's players were defeated in the quarter finals. Also in the semi-finals they overcame the Germany's players and uh, uh, Yashaswani Ghorpade and Harmeet Desai reached the mixed double semi-finals while Harmeet also advanced to the men's singles quarter final. Okay? So you have remembered that Kritvika Roy and Yashaswani Ghorpade won the women's doubles title at the World Table Tennis Feeder Cagliari 2024 tournament. If you ask that what is the venue for this tournament, so the venue was Italy. Okay. Now let's see some static facts. When was the World Table Tennis established? It was established in 2019. Which organization manages the World Table Tennis event? It is managed by International Table Tennis Federation. And what is the main goal of World Table Tennis? So main goal is to revitalize the table tennis events worldwide. Okay. In the next slide, let's see some sport-related current affairs. The first one is, which country hosts the ninth edition of ICC Women's T20 World Cup? So it is hosted by UAE. Which city will host the 2026 Commonwealth Games? Answer here is Glasgow. How many medals were won by India in the Under-17 Asian Wrestling Championship 2024? Total 11 medals were won by India in this championship. Prachi Yadav who recently won two gold medals in the ACC para Cano Asian Championship 2024 belongs to which Indian state? So she is from Madhya Pradesh. Which Indian player won bronze medal at World Junior Squash Championship 2024? This is Shorya Baba, which organization of India recently organized hashtag playthrough campaign to create awareness about the clean sport? This is NADA, National Anti-Doping Agency, who is the new brand ambassador of Fit India Movement. New brand ambassador of Fit India Movement is Mr. Narendra Kumar Yadav. Okay? So this is all about today's session. We have covered the 10 current affairs for today along with the revision part and uh, overall we have covered uh, nearly 80 to 85 questions. Now at last I'd like to give you some homework and today the homework is related to business, economy and banking related current affairs. Here on the screen you can see 7 questions. Please read each of the questions carefully and try to answer them in the comment section. I'll be waiting for your answers. And now before concluding, let me again remind you that these questions are part of our daily 20 MCQ series in the GK Today Android application. So if you want the PDF of the lecture, you can subscribe to that course by paying a very nominal fees. Also, there is one more announcement today. Tomorrow is 2nd of November. So I'll be on leave for whole week because of some personal reasons. So now we will be meeting on uh, Monday, maybe on next Monday. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Jatsana signing off.